Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's class I am going to teach about a PLA. So PLA is comes under programmable logic device. So this topic we already studied in digital electronics. So this session for uh, just recalling the term PLA. So what is the abbreviation of PLA? So this P represent programmable programmable logic array. So it's an abbreviation of PLA. So this device is mainly used to implement the Boolean functions. So implement the Boolean functions. So it's like the SOP form sum of product. Then fundamental components of components of PLA. So what are the components need to execute the PLA? So first component is input buffer. So input buffer. Second one AND gate matrix. Then third one OR gate matrix. So these three components comes under the fundamental component of a PLA. So we will discuss one by one. So first one is input buffer. So what is buffer? So buffer is a temporary storage. So this input buffer is getting the data and reduce the time to get the input values. So it's a symbol of input buffer. So output of the input buffer is inverting input and non-inverting inputs. So for example, a is the input. So this input value is given to buffer. So output of the buffer is A and A bar. So this term is inverting. This one is non-invert. So output of the buffer we will get inverting term and also non-inverting term. The simplified structure of input buffer is like this. So here we are using two inverters. So A is the input. Output of the first inverter is A bar. So A bar is the input of second inverter. Output of the second inverter is A. So it's a simplified structure for this input buffer. Then how many number of input buffers required to execute the PLA operation? So number of buffer equal to number of variable variables present in the in the expression. So here number of buffer equal to number of variables present in the expression. Then come to AND gate. So this AND gate is it's a matrix format. So output of the AND gate you will get the product term. Output of the AND gate we will get the product term. The next one is OR gate, OR gate matrix. So here output of the OR gate get the sum term. So sum of product. So how many number of AND gate matrix vector? Number of AND gate. Vector equal to number of product term in the expression. So how many number of product term present in the expression? That much of AND gate vector. Then OR gate. So number of OR gate equal to number of functions in the expression. So how many number of plus sign present in the expression? That much of OR gate is needed to implement the PLA operations. So here I am taking two examples. So Z1 and Z2. 
through this or the Boolean expression. So here is that one equal to a b plus a bar b bar c bar plus a bar b c bar. Is that two equal to a b plus a bar b c bar plus a bar b c. So in this PLA, first you simplify the Boolean expression. So after simplification only, we can draw the PLA structure. So I just simplify this expression. A B, I just write A B directly plus. So in this two product term, which are the variables is common. Just you find out. So A bar C bar is common for both the product term. Just to take it out. A bar C bar. Remaining term is B bar plus B. So B bar plus B is one. You just apply the Boolean rule. So one into anything same value. So output of the expression is A B plus A bar C bar. So is that one equal to A B plus A bar C bar? So before simplification, we have a three product term and two plus functions. So after simplification, only we get two product term and one function. So then come to is that two function? So here A B the right as usual plus so in these two product term, just you find the common variables. So a bar b. So a bar b is the common. Just to take it out, a bar b. So remaining term c bar plus c. So c bar plus c equal to one. So one into a bar b same value present. So output of the expression is a b plus a bar b. That's a is a two. So now I am going to draw the PLA structure for these two expressions. So first you find the number of variables present in the expression. So here A, B, C. Totally three variables present. So here I draw three input buffers. A is the input. Output of the input buffer is A and a bar. Then second input is B. Output of the input buffer is provide two outputs B and B bar. And third input is C. Output of the input buffer is C and C bar. So first component is over. Then come to AND gate. So in this expression, so final expression after simplification, we will get two product terms. So we need a two AND gate. So two AND gate for Z1. So first product term is A dot B. So A dot B. So it's a first product term. It's output of uh, AND gate A dot B. Then second product term is A bar C bar. So A bar C bar. So second product term A bar dot C bar. Then come to the second function Z2. So here also we have a two product terms. So I just draw two AND gate for Z2. So first product term is A dot B. So A dot B. So first one. Then second term is A bar B. So A bar B. A dot B. A bar B. So AND gate matrix is over. Then go to OR gate. So here one function is present for Z1. Use one OR gate. So output of the OR gate is Z1. So input is this two. So this two term consider as a input of is that one or B? Then next come to is that two function. So here also we have only one function. So one or gate. 
is used to find the z2 function so here input value is a bar b and sorry a dot b and a bar dot b bar so z1 and z2 is the output of the boolean expression you read the expression so in this expression is there any possible to simplify the expression simplified finally you get the term so this term is converted into pla structure so first you draw the input buffer then and gate matrix then finally you draw the or gate matrix i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thank you